よろしくお願いしますえ全然そんなことないっすよつまらないものですがどうぞ What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Aki. Today I'm gonna be talking about why you have to be humble in Japan. So if you're familiar with the Japanese culture, you know that in Japanese society, people have this cancel culture, which basically means humbleness or modesty. But it also means being self-deprecating. Let me give you one example of cancel. Let's say your English teacher gives you a compliment like, Wow, your English is getting better. How would you answer to the teacher? I guess thank you would be the most common and appropriate answer in the most part of the world. But do you know how Japanese people answer to that kind of compliment? Instead of saying thank you to accept the compliment, they deny it by saying things like it's not true or I'm not good at all. This might sound rather rude to people outside of Japan, but being humble or sometimes even self-deprecating is the politest way to answer to compliments in general. Here is another example of Kenson. Say you bought a souvenir and give it to your friend. Most common things you can say are like, I got you a little something, hope you like it, or things like that. But again, what Japanese people are likely to say is, Tsumaranai mono desu ga. Which means this is such a worthless thing. And you might feel like, Whoa, Why are you giving me a worthless shit? What's wrong with you? No, 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 no. We're just trying to be polite. Japanese people usually deprecate things on their side like gift or ability or even people to keep others from setting expectations too high and getting disappointed in case it's not good enough to them. Okay, now I hope you're getting the grasp of Kensong. Then where did this Kensong culture come from in the first place? I think this has a lot to do with the Japanese social background. Japan is a collectivistic society where people are mutually dependent on each other and bonds between individuals are strong. Although Japan has been getting westernized and starting to take more individualistic systems, people still have the living together spirit, so in order to act politely, you kind of have to behave like you can't live or accomplish anything without a help from others. So telling your Japanese teacher that you're good at Japanese kind of makes it look like you don't need him anymore, which goes against the living together spirit. This is why you have to be humble about your ability in Japan. The Japanese phrase, Yoroshiku onegaishimasu, is the best example to reflect this social background. It means, please take a good care of me, which would sound so freakishly spoiled and weird in English, but it's one of the most used phrases when you greet somebody in Japan. And as one of the consequences of people being so humble about their ability, people have become hesitant to say things like, I can do blah blah blah, or I'm good at blah blah blah, even when they're actually competent. In fact, I never feel comfortable saying that I can speak English in front of Japanese people, unless I can speak like a native English speaker. So what I always say is Which means I can speak only a little bit so that I won't be outstanding and people won't call me carried away. So that's it for today's video. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and share it with your friends and I'll see you very soon in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.